This playthrough is rated E for everyone. It's time for us to comb the desert. I hope we have a better thing than a hair pick. Greetings and salutations, viewers. We're back here with another episode of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. In the last episode, we went to Monte Carlo and Algiers, and uh, we talked to a man named Trottier who pointed us to Algiers, and we gave someone their card, found Omar, and got some information, so now we have to go into the desert. Yeah, we're trying to comb the desert. Oh, boy. But anyway, we got ourselves a camel on the map. So, how you go through the map, we have to just click on, yeah, you see this little figure here is Indy. So you can uh, click to multiple areas on the map. You can click this way and uh, this way. Now, these groups here are trouble. Now, what trouble is, is that as soon as they run into you, it's basically legionnaires. Now, if you can actually talk your way out of it, so let me get close to legionnaire. I'll save it before that, because I don't want to lose this item, but, uh, all right, let me, yeah, let me say, let me make a save right here. To sand, you say? So, anyway, let's get caught by an, a legionnaire on purpose. Yipe! I'm sorry, but your visa isn't valid for travel outside the city. Now, how dare you stop me? How dare you stop me? I'm a duly sworn officer of the Foreign Legion, and I stop anyone I please. Uh-oh. What would it take you to forget we ever met? What would it take to forget we ever met? Well, now. That depends on what you have to offer. Yeah, he's a loyal man to the Legion until you actually have something to give him. Now, there's actually two things you can give him. You can give him the statuette, or Omar statue, or the Blackbird statue. And that'll get him off your, off your butt. It's a cheap soapstone carving. It's the stuff still waiting. I like the fact he does the voice every time he does that. So, all right, give him the any one of these doesn't matter. Here you go, my man. A rare and beautiful soapstone statue. Why, thank you. Go in peace. And yeah, you get two times to use that to get away from these guys. So, all right, let's reload. Cause it's actually not that hard to avoid. Uh, oh, I didn't know. I forgot I named the last episode sand too. What we need to do is we need to find these uh, nomad camps. Actually, it might be better just to go around. Uh-oh. Get back. I'm sorry, but your visa isn't valid. Okay, let's try that again. So, yeah, uh, well, I last time I played, I didn't have a hard time avoiding these guys, so. Okay, I guess it depends on where you're on in the map, so. But anyway, we, we want to go to these nomad camps. Because this will point us in the large, right direction. Because uh, the, the desert is huge. There's a lot of things in the desert. <laughs> yeah, walk to the vast, uncrossable desert. Hopefully we have water here, and, and without a map, we would have gotten lost. Although I think we're gonna have a better better chance to the, the desert than uh, King Graham or Valenice. Now let's talk to this guy here. Hello there. Salam, Appendi. Have you heard of a place called Atlantis? You ever hear of a place called Atlantis? No, Effendi. Yeah, he is a random guy in the middle of the desert. How would you even know, so? What do you make of this map? Hmm. This X is to the south. And to the east. Thanks for the information. All right, southeast is where we need to go. So that's, that's how you're supposed to know uh, which location. Let's see if we can... Talking Hello again. Else. Salam again. Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Were they Nazis, do you think? They had pale faces like you, Fendi. A lot of us uh, Westerners have pale faces. Tell me about the foreigners again. I have seen them. Can you imagine? They're digging holes in the sand. Holes in the sand? That's crazy. But where can I find these holes? It's hard to remember. The desert all looks the same, you know? Yeah, that's true. Nice talking to you. Go with God, Defendi. Wouldn't it be Allah? But anyway. It's a, I mean, Allah is basically God anyway. For all, I mean, it's not the Christian God, but you know what I mean, so... But anyway, go back to the camel. So, south, whoop, nope, nope, nope. South and east, so, all right. Although I could go to this nomad camp if I wanted to, just to, up, back up. 
Sometimes you can just go back and forth and I'll reset them, so. Alright, let's see what this guy says. A lot of them will have the same dialogue except for the map location. Hello there. Yeah, they all have the same voice, so. What do you make of this map? Hmm. You are very close to the site. This X is a little to the south. And slightly to the east. Thanks for the information. And one of these guys has to tell you that it's very close and the X will appear on the map or on your overworld view, so. So I need to go to Oh, never mind, it's right here. So it's that close. Never mind. So we just need to head to the X. Oh, I'll have to okay, I'll have to go around because of the uh the way the map works, so I'll have to go through this way. Yeah, I can't go around this mountainside, so. Whoop! I actually didn't mean to click on that. But luckily the X stays on the map, so. Alright, so we're gonna have to go through. Let's see if we can sneak our way through there. <laughs> Stay away! Looks like I lost those guys. Alright, so let's get to the dig side now that we avoided the legionnaires. So, let's head this way. Ooh, look what I found. An abandoned dig site. Oh, it's abandoned, huh? Hmm. Well, let's take a look around. The engine won't start for some reason. Hmm. Well, this could help us get out of the desert when we finish this place. It covers the engine. Oh, it covers the engine. Who knew? What a hunk of junk. Well, this hunk of junk might just get us out of here, though. It appears to be a telegram. Hmm. It reads... Achtung, Colonel! Trap is set in Monte Carlo for 38! Stop! Bait is seance with Madame Sophia! Stop! Need you here soonest! Stop! It's signed Uberman. Uh-oh, Sophia and Trottier are in danger. We need to get back to Mon uh, Monte Carlo and uh, let them know about it. But uh, we have to get out of here and figure out about the dig site. So one one thing at a time. Can't rush it. Because it took us a while to get here in the first place. So now let's keep looking around and see. Ooh, hello. Spark plugs. It's missing a spark plug and battery. Hmm. Perhaps there's one around here. There's a plug missing. Yeah, I'll have to keep looking around, so. Duly noted. Hopefully this thing has gas, too, but uh, we shall see. All right, anything else around here? Let's see. Nope. Oh, let's go to the tent, see if there's anything over there. Before we go into the dig site itself, of course. I mean, we could go straight into the dig site, but I want to take a look around. I want to see what there is to see. Take him a hot minute to go over here, yeesh. The tents are empty. The whole place looks abandoned. Good to know. I had to walk all the way around just for that. Thanks, game. Thanks a whole lot. Now let's take a look at these tents. The tents are empty. The whole place looks abandoned. The tents are empty. Oh, okay, okay, The whole fine. place looks abandoned. Fine, fine, fine. All right, let's go to the dig site then. I appreciate all that necessary information for Nindy to know. All right, let's see what's down this thing. Oh, oh dear. We can't see anything. Hmm. Well, there's a little interesting mechanic in here, and I don't know how hard it is for you to see, but um, if you pay, if when Indy stays in here with just long enough, the uh, game will start getting a little bit easier to see. So uh, let's see, clay thing. Let's walk up to that. It feels like a clay jar. Yeah, so let's, uh... It feels like a oh, clay jar. Sorry, I was picking up that clay jar. There's a coppery bead in here. Okay, don't get too... Don't get too surprised. But anyway, it's orichalcum, so... Let's take a look at this, uh... It's an empty clay jar. No, oh, it's empty, huh? All right. A lot of tubular thing. It's either a hose or a sleeping snake. I hope it's a hose. That could be a snake, but uh, let's pick up that sleeping snake. 
Oh, it's a it's a hose. Good for us. All right, there's one more thing. Ooh, a metal thingy. It feels like a portable generator. Oh. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, can you tell that it's getting a little bit easier to see in here? It's because in the uh, it's nice a little detailed in the game that basically Indiana Jones is natural. Um, you know how the human eye can sometimes, with at least a little bit of light, or get used to the darkness, it can kind of see in it. Not perfectly. But yeah, the game has a... Look at that. It's a cool little feature. Very few games did stuff like that. It feels like a portable generator. But yeah, well, this helps those for those who might have a hard time seeing without turning the brightness up on their uh, monitors or whatever. Now let's see what's inside. Ceramic thingy. It feels like a spark plug. Ooh, hello. Nice, we need one of those for the car. Anything else in there? I guess it feels not. like a portable okay. generator. Let's go and close that. Let's see, can we use it? Oh, sorry, try to. Well, I want to use it, so, okay, well, let me. Well, we can't use it now because it's not a. It feels like a wall. Hmm. See if anything else we can do in here. Probably not. Oh. There's one more. I thought there was one more thing we could mess with in here. Oh, there it is. The metal cap. It feels like a gas cap. Now it's open. Let's see. This is where the gas goes. Okay, let's see. I don't think that'll work. Nope, can't use it yet. All right. The jar is empty. Okay, so we need to go back since we, I think that's it. We can all, oh, hello. It feels like a sharp stick of wood. Spear, oh, it's a ship rib. But anyway, let's uh, go back outside first so let's go check the engine on this thing and there should be a little thing we can do over here so it's missing a spark plug and battery there it is the gas tank so let's look at that that's where the gas is now right, let's open that up all right now let's put the it's a hose to use the hose on the gas tank and then we need to use the uh, clay jar on the hose that's enough the jar is full okay so yeah we need to get ourselves some gasoline so we can actually turn on the generator so we can actually see what we're doing in there so i don't think we need the hose anymore after this but yeah, i'll take it anyway so Let's close up the gas tank. Don't want that open. Hopefully we didn't take too much gas because you know, we still have to get out here at some point, so. All right, let's take the long way around back the way we came. And go back inside, so. All right, let us, uh, yeah, see now it's back to being dark again, but we'll eventually be able to. Uh... It feels like a portable generator. All right, unfortunately, let me see, okay. Uh, use the jar on the gas uh, with a gas filler pipe. I've emptied the jar into the pipe. Okay, so now we need to let's see if we can just. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Let's see. This is where the gas goes. Oh, yeah, I guess I should close the gas. Now it's closed. Okay. I can't move it. Can't move it? Are you sure? It won't work without a spark plug. Oh, so we need to take the spark plug back. I, I took it too early. I'm actually supposed to save that for later, so... Whoops! I, I, I jumped... I skipped a step, so... Let's put the... Use the spark plug back in the generator. Okay, there we go. Close that back up. 
Okay, let's pull on the generator again. Yeah, this is one of those old pull generators where you, instead of pressing a button, you actually had to pull like a little thing to like get the engine working. Whoops. I can't move it. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about now it started the light sources and everything like that. So now we can actually take a look at these places. Although I think I've grabbed everything that I can actually, most of the stuff I can grab. But uh, but yeah. So now right, let's take a look at this painting first. It's a painting of a chest or ark. I've seen that before. <laughs> nice reference to the Raiders of the Lost Ark. But that's not what we're here for. That's a different story. It's being taken care of by good men. What do you mean? Very good men, or what? Top men. That's it. I, I, I ruined the, I ruined the phrase. It's being protected by top men. What? Top men. Now let's take a look at this from the wall. It's a crumbling rock wall. Hmm. I can't move it. Yeah, I can't move it or use it. Nope, can't do that. So, open it. it doesn't seem to open. Okay. Well, anyway, we need to decrumble that. So, what we got here that can do that? Well, there's only one thing. The sharp, the ship rib. There's a mural behind this crumbling rock. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at it. Who knows? Might have been a map to Atlantis, but now it's unreadable. Hmm. Interesting. I can't move it. I can't move it. Who knows? Might have been a map to Atlantis, but now it's unreadable. We can't we can't read we can't read the darn thing, so we have to figure out how to uh Let's see. Well that's not gonna do anything. Hmm. Okay, well let's go back to the painting. Maybe we missed something over there, so Ooh, hello. Missed this the first time. A round object. Is that a ball these figures are tossing around? Or a stone disc? Oh, we've heard of some t stone discs before, haven't we? Well, now, here's something the Nazis missed. Ha-ha! It resembles that statue Kerner stole from me. Oh, the beginning of the game. That, uh, during the cutscene, it, like, uh, caused electricity for him, doesn't it? So let's pick that up. Yeah, let's take a look at that. It resembles that statue Kerner stole from me. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. Huh. Well, then, I think we've got everything we need for this place, so... All right. Well, let's uh, let's see if we can. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, that probably turns it off. It's an on-off button. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, unfortunately, the crumbling wall doesn't. You can mess with it, but it didn't give you anything. So let's push the button to turn off the power. All right. Let's open up the generator. Take the spark plugs. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, we found everything we can for this place. Basically, we are here for the device, is what we need. And the Oracalcum, of course. Okay, so now that we've done that, and we know that the uh, um, Sophia and Trottier are in danger, we need to get out of here. So, we should have enough gas, so, but we need a spark plug and the engine to start. So, let's use the spark plug on the engine. What do you know? A perfect fit. All right, can we use the can we use the car now? Should it be good to go? Can we can we use it? That doesn't seem to work. But no, we are not quite done with this yet because uh, looks like the spark plugs are ready to spark. Yeah, see, we need to jump start the engine. Yeah, it looks okay, but it still needs a battery. And unfortunately, we don't have a battery. So, how do we start a battery? Well, remember, we saw during the cutscene a while back with the uh, the Nazis, the statue itself that Kerner used? Well, let's take the Orichalcum and use it on the Orichal on the statue. Now the statue feels warm and tingly, especially around the horns. Yeah, now it's a spark uh, sparked up, so yeah, now we made ourselves a battery. That doesn't quite seem to work. Oh, whoops, we used on the wrong thing. I'll just touch the horns to the plug leads. Whoa, what a spark. What do you know? The engine started. 
All right, so now we can uh, just close the hood on it and use the truck. Monte Carlo, here I come. All right, and now we can go back to the dig side for whatever reason, I guess, but we don't need to anymore, so. All right, let's head back to Monte Carlo. All right, now where's uh, where's Trottier? Just gotta wait for him to pop up again. Actually, let's see what random people hey there. say. Do you know anything about Atlantis? Certainly not. No, oh, Trottier, come back. Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Yes, uh, can I help you with something? Uh, you're being uh, tracked down by Nazis, dude, so... Are you here to see Madame Sophia? Well, yes, I hear she's in town. I'm trying to work up the courage to propose my latest theory of Atlantis to her. Oh, well, I'm... <laughs> you do know she's, uh... Uh, <laughs> she's cozy with the Nazis, you know. Yeah, we could just... <laughs> I think that's kind of funny when you think about it, so... What theory? I'd love to hear it. It concerns the location of the lesser colony. Oh, very clever, Dr. Jones. I can see you're trying to goad me into revealing my secret knowledge of Atlantis. Well, it won't work. Au revoir, monsieur. Oh, wait, no. Come back here. I need monsieur to talk to you. I need to talk about the Nazis. What now, Dr. Jones? Monsieur Trottier, you're in trouble. What makes you think so? Listen to this telegram. Octung Kerner, trap is set in Monte Carlo for Trottier. Stop. Bait is seance with Madame Sophia. Stop. Need you here soonest. Stop. It's a Nazi plot. Take a look for yourself. <laughs> This flimsy piece of paper proves nothing. You could have forged it. Au revoir, monsieur. Hmm, nuts. Now I have to wait for him to come back again. We gotta believe him. Alright, no, I mean, we gotta have him believe us. Nothing interesting over here. You have to wait for him to re pop back up, though. Actually, maybe we could chase after him. Nothing interesting over here. Nope. Okay. I had to wait for him to repop back up again, so. He's just not going to believe us, is he? There he is. Monsieur Trottier? Come on, oh, man. This is getting tiresome, Jones. I should have clicked on I was trying to click on before, but I, I kind of missed it, so. Be careful. Nazi agents are on your trail. You don't fool me, Dr. Jones. You're just trying to scare me out of this key to fabled Atlantis. But neither you nor the Nazis will ever wrench it from my grasp. You'll have to pry it from my dead fingers. Help me, Dr. Jones! You know, it would serve him right if I let him go. But I hate those Nazis. Alright, now we need to chase after him. So what we have to do is basically we need to ram into him a couple times. So, the easiest way to do... Oh, I tried to... Yeah, we have to do this a couple of times. So, we just have to kind of... Oh. I'm trying to I'm trying to move the car so I can ram them basically. There we go. Yeah, we have to do this a few times. Oh. Get back here. Where'd you guys go? No. Ah, there we go. Oh man, they are not, they are not stopping. That's going me, uh, whoops. Lost track of the, uh, I was trying to find them and I lost track of them. There we go. There they are. And you, <laughs> we are not doing a very good job. We're supposed to run into them quite a few times to get them to stop. No. Yeah, I can't, 
couldn't really turn around, so. Yeah, let's try that again. Oops. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a, this, this little slow second here is a little annoying. There we go. Let's get out of here before the police arrive. Man, I hope we didn't kill Trotty by accident. Whoops. What a mess. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a mess, yeah, so. No, I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna check something really quick. So. What a mess. <laughs> yeah, Trotty is a mess. I think he's dead. Oh well. Nothing down there. Oh, okay. Let's talk on Trotty. <laughs> I was wondering how many different sound effects he had. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. <sighs> Don't worry. I'm just fine. Uh, thank you very much. Dr. Jones! You! You deliberately ran into the car! <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did, but the Nazis got away. Good riddance, I say. Give me a moment to collect my thoughts. I am very grateful, sir. You made me see that an old coward like myself cannot outwit the forces of darkness now gathering in Europe. But you, Dr. Jones, with your courage and persistence, you might yet succeed. Well, I could use a... Uh, could I get that key from you? I'd like your stone key. I've got something even better. Listen here. I know where to find an entrance to the lost city itself. I don't believe it. It's on the island of Serra, south of Greece. Really? I do not make jokes, Doctor. You've read about the lesser colony in Plato's Lost Dialogue, have you not? I read it a while back, so, uh, yeah, no. Well, no, I haven't. You really should. I know you have a copy. I'm convinced Serra is the lesser colony, and I believe it's the way in. I give you this information in heartfelt gratitude. I give you the sunstone as well, but I don't have it anymore. But you had it on you before you left. Don't tell me you let the Nazis take it. Never! I threw it out of the window during the chase. Oh. Whoops. Well, hopefully it didn't break. What the... How could you throw such a precious artifact away? I was desperate. It may hinder the Nazis, but I fear they will soon find another. Like you, they are persistent. Well, I'm just one man. They're all they're a whole nation, country, whatever, organization, so Yeah, where is it? Where did you throw it? It was near Avenue Eclair et Rue Truffaut. Could you repeat that? French names give me fits. Better yet, I'll write it on this telegram. Here. Thanks. Good luck and Godspeed in your search. You can tell that, that that was a point where they had to insert the dialogue for what it is, because it's another case of being random, that it could be different um, lo locations on the map. What a mess. Yeah, we can't, uh, can't use the car anymore. Whoops. All right, so we need to find our location. Uh... Unfortunately, okay, let's look at the street sign to see where we're at. I'm at the corner of Boulevard des Guerres des Etoiles and Rue Lumière. <laughs> oh, French names, lovely. All right, where's that telegram again? It says Avenue Eclair and Rue Truffaut. Did you say Rue Truffaut? I'm at the there? corner of Boulevard des no. Guerres des Etoiles and Rue Lumière. Okay, so that's not where we need to go, so let's go to another crossroads and see all right which one's this one i'm at the corner of boulevard des guerres des etoiles and rue framboise it says avenue eclair and rue truffaut i'm at the corner right. of 
Boulevard des Guerres des Etoiles and Rue Framboise. All right, so it's not this one, so let's go up this way. Whoops, I actually didn't want to go back to the hotel yet. No, it's this one. I'm at the corner of Avenue Victor Hugo and Rue Bernays. Nope. Not that one either. I actually don't remember every single uh, corner on the map, so you'll have to forgive me if I don't immediately go towards it. I'm at the corner of Boulevard Napoleon and Rue Bernays. Nope. Yeah, unfortunately, I wish the I, I kind of wish the map just highlighted it before you even walked into it in the first place or something. But uh, nothing, nothing down there. There's nothing even in this place because there's no street sign. So nothing down there. Nope. Okay. Let's go to this one. Let's see what this one is. I'm at the corner of. Boulevard Napoleon and Rue Hollandaise. Nope. I'm at the corner of Boulevard Napoleon and Rue Lumiere. All right, just a bunch of French names. I get it. No. Uh, okay, I think I need to go down, actually. Go down the street there, I think. I'm at the corner of Avenue Milburn and Rue Picard. Okay, so I need to go... Let me go this way. Oops. Didn't mean to... Yeah, come on. I'm at the corner of Avenue Descartes and Rue Montgolfier. Nope. All right. Let's keep walking this way. It's probably on the other side of the, the map. See what this one is. I'm at the corner of Avenue de Brick Jean and Rue Saint Nom. Nope. I've got to go to like every single corner until I find the actual like right street. I'm at the corner of Avenue de Brick Jean and Rue Truffaut. Oh boy. Yeah, this is probably one of the more mon uh, mundane puzzles. It's basically just go to every area and just see if you find it. I'm at it. the corner of. Avenue Eclair and Rue Truffaut. Oh, I think that's it, isn't it? Oops, didn't mean to click on the, that. It says Avenue Eclair yeah. and Rue Truffaut. Well, it didn't go quite to every single location, but anyway, if we want to click it, we have to click on the drain. I see something down there. I see something down there. I got it! It's a small wheel-shaped stone carved with solar images. All right, and that's it. So we found the sunstone. So now, now we need to just go back to the hotel, so we can ignore all the, the. Um... But yeah, this puzzle is kind of more just like wasting your time puzzle, really. So not every puzzle has to be like super original, creative. Sometimes it's just something a bit different. So. Oh, are you gonna go to the hotel? Thank you. All right. So with the sunstone in hand and us saving, uh, and us saving, um, uh, Trottier, we now have our next location, the island of Terra, uh, or Thera, or however you want to pronounce it. So what awaits, awaits us on the island of Thera? Are we gonna find some Amazons or more uh, information to the our location to Atlantis? Find out next time in the next episode of India Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Driver to the airport.